Okay, guys, so welcome back. So now in this video, let's handle our add to cart button. All right, I simply have to click on this. I have to add the current product in the cart. So I simply first of all go to my constants, uh, and in the constants, I'm create here. I create here new file that is called the cart constants. .js. All right. So I simply first of all copy any three from here. Let's copy these three. So copy, put that here, and then I simply have to add here the add to cart. So we save it, and then I simply copy this one. Control C, and I create here new reducer. So new that is card reducer reducers or dot js so I simply import this from dot dot slash constants slash the card constants okay then I simply type here export cons the card card reducer okay and then let's put in here the state and the state is going to contain here card items all right so card item being that whatever the user has selected like three products or four products so i simply put in here an empty array okay and then the action so then i simply get here the switch so first of all the case is going to be so first of all default so default is going to be return state and then our first case is add to cart so case add to cart i simply have to return and now i first of all select the item so const item is equal to action dot payload so i will i will find that product basically oh we don't have to return from here now so simply cons items of action or payload action or payload will be the product that we have to basically put in the cart okay so item now you have to first of all check that if that item exists or not right so simply type here cons is item exist equals to state dot cart items that whatever the items in the cart in the state and have to find for each item i'll put in here i dot product equals to the item dot product so dot product is the id of that product okay so this is not the uh, product object this is the id of that product so i will find that and check that if if is item exist else okay so if so if the item is not in the card already then i simply have to return from here whatever in the state and then the card items is going to be whatever in the state dot card items okay then i will put in here my the current item okay so if this item doesn't exist in the in the state i will simply in the card items array i will simply put in here whatever in the state of the card items uh, this one i will spread that here and then our current item which is this one all right but if the item exists then i simply return from here whatever in the state okay and then the card items i will simply put in here state dot card items card items i will simply map through them so map through each item okay and i check that if i dot product equals to the is item product then i will simply have to put in here the item else i will put in here the item in the uh, card okay simply save it i hope that you understand each and everything so let's go to our 
actions and also first of all let's add it to the store so in the store i will simply import uh, the card reducer uh, from dot slash reducers slash the cart reducers all right and i simply put in here the cart so cart will be cart oops cart reducer okay so we save it and then i also have to simply go back to cart items or oh, not here i have to go to the actions new file that is cart actions dot js all right let's simply import these constants control c also we have to import the axios from axios then our constants and then first of all put have the first functions of const add add item to cart okay in that we have to pass in the id of that product then the quantity that i want to put in the cart right like five five quantity or six whatever we pass in there and then the dispatch and also you can pass here one more parameter that is get state so get state will help us to get the current state all right so i simply first of all send the request so const data i will pull out the data equals to axios dot get and i will get here the slash api slash v1 slash the product and then the id of that product all right i will search that product with this route and then i will dispatch this patch the type is the add to cart and then in the payload payload will, it will be an object in this case that first of all contain the product that will be data dot product underscore id okay so first we'll have to store in the payload the product id so that will be product itself and then the name that will be data dot product dot name and then we have the price that will be data dot product product dot price and let's also put in here the image of that uh, product to be uh, product dot images I will select the first image dot URL okay and also I have to pull in the stock so stock will be data dot product dot stock and also we put in the quantity okay that will pass all right so this is the payload and then after dispatching it I also have to save uh, the data in the local storage okay because if you reload the page then we have to load uh, the cart items from the local storage so i will save this cart item the local storage so local storage dot set item and i have to pass in the key that is cart items you can pass anything here so cart items and then the value so json dot stringify so it takes the string so i will convert my object to string so i use the stringify in the stringify i will put here get state okay so whatever in the state dot card i want to get the card from the state and then i will put in here the card items pull out the card items and put that in the local storage like this all right so we save it and now also in the store in the initial state i have to whenever you reload the page in the initial state i have to put in all the products in the local storage so I simply go to my here and the initial state I simply put in the card in the card we know that we have the card items so card 
items where is card items and i simply put type here local storage dot get item now i have to get it so that is the card items and also i will check that if the card doesn't exist or not so if it exists then i simply have to uh put in here json dot parse okay and i pass in here this one okay so control c put it here and then else if it doesn't exist i simply have to put in here an empty array okay so now again in the card items i first of all check that if local storage dot get item dot card item exists if that exists then i simply will i simply convert uh, this into the json okay and put that in the state and if that doesn't exist then the card item is going to be an empty array simply save it i hope that you understand and now we are done with our action reducer so set in the initial state now let's go back to our product details and let's bring in import the add to add items or item i don't know that is add item record so we copy it put it here from dollar slash action slash the card actions all right and uh, okay now I simply go back on the card button which is uh, this one if it's, I simply type here that uh, on click I will simply call here a function that is the add to card okay and the add to cart we also have to pass in here disable prop so disabled so i want to disable this button if product dot stock is equal to zero for example if, if it is out of stock then i have to disable this add to cart button okay so let's define this one so control c over the top and let's put that here or here const equals to this arrow function i simply dispatch here the add item to card and that i simply have to pass in the id so that is match dot fans dot id the id of that product and then the quantity so i simply put in here the quantity and then after adding to the card i have to simply alert dot success that will be item added to card all right so we save it and uh, i think so everything is fine so if i simply go back reload the page to test it out so i select two here i click on add to cart so product id of undefined so that is okay so actions oh that is dot so we save it and now if i reload it two and if i click on add to cart so cannot read product of undefined okay so oh we also have to put in here the await <laughs> so because if you don't put here await the promise will be in pending state okay so we have to await here so that is also going to be an async function i don't know why i have made this silly mistake here let's simply save it go back to the page to add to card so add item added to card and if i go to my inspect let's go to first of all redux and you can see here add to card is called successfully and on the card state in the card we have the card items that will contains two items basically uh why it is here oh because uh -huh, this this first item is from my when i was developing the application so i think so that's why it is here but now we have added this boss headphone if i click on that you will see here the quantity is 2 the stock is 11 this is the image price uh the name the product and if you go to the application the application go to the local storage 
And here I have two products. You can see that the card items. Uh, we also have shipping info here, so it's a bit related. So this is basically uh, when I was developing this application. So I have here, so it's a bit related. And the first item was also when I was developing this application. So just uh, ignore that. Now we also have our item, which is this one right here. Okay. So this was headphone. Okay. So now I have added successfully item to my card. And in fact, if I reload my page, go to inspect, and then in the Redux, you will see here in the state the card, the card items. I have my items here. All right. So it now they are working properly. So in my next video, basically, I have selected the quality. I have selected this button. I will create my card component. Okay, and then we will work on that. Alright, so I will see you in the next video.